Welcome to the ICU studio in Geneva, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. David Wen, who is the chairman of the focus group on digital fiat currency, and he's also from the uh, DFC Institute. David, welcome to the studio. Welcome, and good afternoon. Now, I'd like to start off by talking a little bit about the, the focus group. This is the final meeting of the focus group. I wanted to ask you, do you think that the objectives of the focus group have been, have been met? Yeah, it gives me a uh, great pleasure to be um, to hold uh, the uh, final meeting of the focus group at the headquarters of ITU, and uh, it's uh, great to be speaking about this uh, uh, event. And uh, the focus group was established two years ago. At the time, I think most people know about uh, cryptocurrency, and a few people know about digital fiat currency. And uh, I think the timing for the focus group was perfect, and. Um, Last year, especially uh, IMF and the uh, Bank of Interest Settle Settlement did a survey. 78% uh, of the central bank are studying uh, the uh, digital fiat currency, central bank digital currency. And I think um, the work uh, from IMF, from Bank of Canada, from uh, half a dozen central bank around the world in the working group uh, with a focus group proves that uh, we have created a great uh, information for the central banks as well as ITU members to share. For those who are not in the know, what exactly is digital fiat currency? Uh, the money that we use today is also called the legal tender. And uh, what digital fiat currency is, is in a way digitizing that legal tender. So that's why Central Bank is very much involved and it's digital cash in a, in a, in a way. That, that's what, uh, how most people will define digital fiat currency. And, and why are central banks considering issuing digital fiat currency as opposed to regular currency? Yes, I think the, uh, you know, everything is di being digitized, the music, letters and everything. So the money, the paper money uh, becoming digital is just a matter of time. However, how it should be digitized, what function it should be digitized is the work of this focus group. And I think uh, with um, uh, members like uh, the central bank, the IMF, the Bank of Internet Settlement, um, and all the central banks, especially experts in this area, I think we have come to gather the most relevant information in terms of what the future of the currency is going to be. What about uh, the technology behind uh, the central bank digital currency? What are the key technologies? That's a very good question. Uh, the reason we started this with ITU actually was because uh, Dr. Cho Lee was saying that uh, money changes form because of communication technology uh, revolution. Uh, the invention of letter, the invention of uh, writing, the, the telegraph, and that's how ITU uh, come about, and of course mobile phone. So the technology for digital fiat currency comes in uh, multiple layers. Phone is clearly one of those, and the communication network. And of course, people have heard about the blockchain, distributed ledger, and hardware security. All of this play a part. And we have a working group on reference architecture, and that basically consolidate all the technology aspects of what goes into making a digital fiat currency solution. Uh, finally, coming back to the focus group, what are going to be the key outputs of the focus group? The focus group uh, has three working groups. And the first one is uh, uh, compliance, legal, uh, regula regulatory compliance, and the economic impact. The second one is architecture. And the third one is security. So we have created the relevant use cases uh, by the different central banks and uh, organizations that are actually experimenting with digital fiat currency. And those outputs are really relevant uh, underground deployment or pilots. And I think this is just a beginning because we are gathering requirements, use cases, and we are planning to establish a future of a currency lab where most of the members will participate so that all the solutions can be compared and evaluated and then provided to uh, the central banks around the world so that they don't have to uh, chase you know, all kinds of solutions vendors. So we want to make this a clearing house for the technology for digital fiat currency. Well, David, thank you very much for joining us today, and we hope to catch up with you again at some stage in the future. Thank you very much.